Hey, what's going on? This is King Leonidas coming at you with another bang and slamming video today. Um, this is probably gonna be a rant today. I'll call this my video challenge day eight. Right? So what I'm gonna talk about on this video today is um, some of the richest people in, in the world. And I, this actually came uh, to me because my wife actually just, just uh, raised a very interesting point um, about, uh, about uh, uh, the poor people in, in, in the world or minorities or whatever you want to call them or what, what have you. And um, I kind of I brought this up to kind of you know, bring a point out because I've got a lot of friends that are, uh, I've got quite a bit of friends that, excuse me, that are going to college. And um, I kind of wanted to uh, talk about, you know, education and, and college versus business ownership and, and, and you know, some of the most, uh, the tippy top successful people that are out there. And um, the point, the reason behind it, because I just want to kind of educate you a little bit about what's possible. I want to educate you about what is, what can really be done. I want to educate you about, about the future, about, the, about today, about tomorrow, about what you can do simply by taking action uh, and doing, you know, certain things and actually position, positioning yourself, right? And um, the point my wife actually raises is about minorities in society right now. And believe it or not, the real minorities are the wealthy people. They, they are the ones that, they're, 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 they're scarce. There's not that many wealthy people out there that you would think. There's a lot, don't get me wrong, but there's also a lot of poor people. But um, I kind of want to just, you know, browse down this list so you can kind of see the billionaires that are in just, this is just the list for the U.S. You know, you've got Bill Gates heading the pack, Warren Buffett, Larry Ilson. Um, you know, there's a couple of people on here that I've been following for quite some time. Here's the Walmart family that are just dominating six through nine. Um, you know, that I kind of want to make you aware of what's really going on. You know what I mean? There's a couple of them on here that are really mind-blowing. You know, the youngest guy on the list, believe it or not, he's only 29 years old. And where did he get his wealth from? He created Facebook. This is, we all know him as Mark Zuckerberg. Those of you that don't, well, hey, now you do. Mark Zuckerberg is the youngest guy on the list um, for Forbes. They're 500, right? So he's 29 years old, been a billionaire for quite some time. But th the point of what I kind of wanted to point out to you guys here is a couple of things. There's another guy on here that's really uh, big for me because I'm an online marketer, because I was in the MLM world, and I kind of want to show you what that's all about. But let's start up here from right to left. Look at this guy, Sheldon. Ad, Ad, I'm not going to chop his name up. Sheldon, this guy is 20, he's worth $26.5 billion. The most important part to me is this. He's a college dropout, right? Look at this. This is an astounding uh, thing that I found amongst a lot, quite a few billionaires. I, I just highlighted quite a few for you. Here's Mark Zuckerberg again. He's a dropout of Harvard, right? Let's keep on moving to the left. Um, we've got Michael Dell. He's a dropout again. You know, and these guys, this guy's worth 15 and a half, 15.3 billion dollars, right? With a B. This guy, um, Sheldon, I was just talking about, he's a dropout again, college dropout, right? Larry Allison, this guy's from Oracle, a big, 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 big name, right? He's a dropout, college dropout. Another guy, Bill Gates, college dropout. Um, Dennis Washington, high school diploma. Look at that. Just a high school diploma alone, he's worth five five point two billion dollars. And he actually made he's a self-made billionaire from construction and mine. Let's back up a little bit. Bill Gates, self-made. Keep in mind he's a Harvard dropout. Um Larry uh, Ellison, uh again, self-made, right? It's another strong point. Um Sheldon, self-made, right? Uh Michael Dell, self-made. Zuckerberg, self-made. This gosh, uh, everything we got Sheldon twice, but you know, so those are two very common points that you're seeing among amongst these billionaires. They're self-made, and they're college dropouts. This guy, he's not self-made. He probably bought the company out, but he is a college dropout. Mickey Arison, this guy that owns Car, uh, he's the CEO of of, of uh, Carnival Cruise Lines, right? Which is pretty badass, right? Um, Bruce, this guy is a uh, he's self-made. He's also a college dropout. Four point three billion. Um, David Green, again, self-made, made his money in retail, high school diploma, right? So the, these are not, they're not geniuses, if he, is the point I'm trying to bring here. And another point I'm trying to bring here is the fact that ed a college education does not actually guarantee riches and success, you know what I mean? Unless, the, unless achieving a college, uh, a college diploma is what you, uh, you screen as success. You know what I mean? Some of these guys, as you can see here, this guy, has a, he has a high school diploma. He worked hard. He did uh, things that he needed to get done to get to that level. You know, he did things that regular people won't normally do to be able to create that kind of income. I'm going to save this one for last. This is probably my favorite 
billionaire, one of my favorite billionaires because I've read quite a bit of his books. I was I worked for him on two different occasions. Well, on one occasion I worked for him, on the other occasion I took advantage of something that he put into place. And um, one of the big things he self-made. This guy was the guy, this is one of the guys that owned Amway, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, network marketing company out there. And again, uh, he does have a, ba a bachelor of arts from from he. So he graduated college, but I can guarantee you that's not what got him his success. He's a self-made billionaire with worth five point one billion dollars. He went, actually went in a partnership with uh, Jay Van Andel and did this. And I think both of them are college graduates. But the point to keep in mind here: he's self-made, didn't inherit his money, didn't have to, you know, uh, do, uh, just get it from somewhere. He created it himself. And most of these guys that I did highlight, they are college dropouts or they have high school diplomas. And what does that tell you? Hard work. And a vision equals success, not, a, not necessarily a college degree, not necessarily a college degree, not necessarily a college degree. So just keep that in mind as you're, you're thinking about, well, is college a better route for me or is being a business owner a better route for me? Either way you look at it, you, that's, your, that's your defining line. Your decision to go to college is, is, is this. Am I going to be a normie? Or am I going to try to make something on myself and become somebody, become one of these guys that are, you know, like the Gates that got his money from Microsoft or like Zuckerberg that created a, a website that touched, that connected the entire world with Facebook. Am I going to be like a Michael Dell and just, you know, take what's already there and just, create you know, computers and just create my own brand? Am I going to be like this guy and just get into casinos? Donald Trump is a big billionaire that got into casinos. Um, and he, he's not on my list because he's pretty far down there. Let's see if I can find him real quick. Cause he's him and actually there's another uh, billionaire that I do want to point out. I don't think he's American though. He's not on the U.S. list, and that's Richard Branson. Uh, the, he's one of my favorite billionaires. Well. I read a lot of his books, um, and I study a lot of his work because he's a very. I, I love his attitude. I love what he's doing. Um, let's look at Oprah Winfrey real quick while I'm here. Let's look at Oprah. I didn't pull Oprah up, and there's a couple of interesting points about Oprah that I'm gonna I'm gonna um, point out there. Um, and let's look at the Rockefellers. Let's look at Dr. David Rockefeller Sr. real quick. This guy Muskowitz. This guy was he, oh he's 29 also. He did, I, I remember reading an article about this guy. Um, he actually left America and uh, what did he do? Baby he denounces U.S. citizenship yeah. when he made his millions when Facebook went went public, which is pretty cool. Pretty badass. I'm pretty sure he's probably a college dropout like his buddy Zuckerberg. Let's look and find out. Um, let me pull up a couple others on here that I know that are big. Um, that are billionaires that I follow, that I love, because I love what they've done with themselves. I love what they've created. I got his money from sunglasses. He's in, where's that at? In San Juan. That's, that's crazy. Let's look at him and see what how he created his money or exactly if he's a dropout or not. Um, let's look at through here. And this is some of the stuff that I do. I do study billionaires, man, because if you want to become successful, be affluent, there he is. There's my boy Donald Trump. Um, you wanna you want to study the people at the top. You don't want to study the people in the middle. You know what I mean? You find Burke. Hey, didn't we hear this name Ron Burkle before? I know that I know I know that name Ron Burkle very well. I'm gonna do some more research on it. But anyway, um, yeah, these are some of the big boys on here. There's another one, one of my favorite uh, billionaires, George Lucas, Steven Spielberg. You know, these are people. That's he got his money from movies, man. I mean, come on, movies. You know what I mean? Those of you like myself that like to watch movies, if you can do it, man, you can do it. Um, so yeah, these are just some of the big names that are out there doing big things making things happen and if you want to be a millionaire a multi-millionaire you want to study billionaires because if you fall short you want to be able to land in the the nine figure or the eight figure range you know what i mean you want to hit you don't want to i like this guy david murdoch too i, I don't know, i think i just like his name because it's pretty gangster i think but you want to fall in, in in that in that region where you're actually going to be able to um to take advantage of those things. So let's check out who we have. We have Oprah Winfrey, 77 million. Wow, and she went up this year alone. Isn't that crazy? She's 59, self-made. Again, Bachelor of Arts, so she did go to school. She's self-made. That's very, very, very important key there. And if I'm not mistaken, Oprah is the only black woman that is a billionaire, which is pretty, pretty impressive. Um. David Rockefeller Sr., he is not self-made because he inherited all his money. This guy is 98 years old. Holy crap. That guy is 98 years old. Wow. Wow, that's that's crazy. David Rockefeller. Man, look at this guy, Dustin. <laughs> Man, this guy, is, he kills me. He's, again, he's another dropout. And he's self-made. 29-year-old self-made billionaire, man. So people in their 20s are becoming billionaires. You can do it. 
This guy is uh, sunglasses again. Dropout, University of Southern California. Got his money from sunglasses, self-made. People, what I'm trying to tell you is this guy, Donald Trump actually inherited some of his money because of his dad. His dad was into real estate and all that kind of stuff, but on a much smaller scale, and he just kind of took it to the next level. Um, and he, most of you guys know him. Um, Ron Burkle, this guy's pretty... Oh, you know what we found of Ron Burkle? This was the guy that got scammed from uh, Anne Hathaway's boyfriend. That's the guy that, this is the guy that got scammed. He was in the supermarkets. Remember? Yeah, this is the guy. That's why I know his name so well. Ron Burkle, yeah. Yukaipa, remember? Yukaipa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the guy that got scammed from Rafael Fulieri. So you see that, guys, what I'm trying to tell you? Billionaires get scammed as well. Not just, you know, not just you because you're working in your job. This guy, Ron Burkle, there's an episode of American Greed. You can actually look it up. Where, and as you can see again, high school diploma. And he's self made. Got his money in supermarket investments. You know what I mean? So, what happened with this story? I'm going to just cover some points. This guy, Rafael Fulieri, actually uh, uh, got in, he got the rub shoulders with Ron Burkle. Ron Burkle gave him an, uh, like a hundred million dollar expense account or something, and this guy just went nuts with it. He literally ripped off this billionaire for millions and millions of dollars, milked him clean, not clean, but milked him for quite a bit of money. And, you know, just so you know, pe people that have a lot of money, these guys worth $3.1 they do get scammed as well. It doesn't just happen to everyday run-of-the-mill people. People do get scammed from, from this thing. I'm, not, you know, I'm, not, I'm just saying that just so you know that you're not immune to it, but it's not. Just don't think that people that have money don't get caught up in the things. Dude, we're human beings at the end of the day, but you have to be aware. He didn't create his money simply by being safe and secure. He's a high school dropout for crying out loud. You know what I mean? He worked hard. He did some. He he did uh, success. He followed success principles that got him to where he's at. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a guy you might want to take a look at at some of the stuff that he's done and grow from there. George Lucas, 3.9 billionaire. 3.9 billion. Again, self-made. Self-made, self-made, and he's 69 years old. He's engaged. It's pretty cool. You guys, most of you guys love him. Star Wars. He's a big movie producer. Um, let's keep on rolling. We got. Uh, we're, we're done with those guys. So yeah, man. So, boom. So you want to keep in mind that a college degree. Does, oh, bro, these eyebrows are pretty sharp. <laughs> you don't want to. You want to keep in mind that it's not just about getting going to college. You know what I mean? It's about what do you want? You know, what are you focused on? What is it that you want to you wanna accomplish in life and you just want to stay focused on it and just do whatever you have to do to make it happen because it's doable, it's possible. If you have a high, sc high school diploma, you can do it. If you have, if, you, if you're wanting to get out of college, you can do it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of dropouts that are, that are billionaires. There's a lot of high school diploma people that are billionaires. Just so you know, it's, don't think that you're, uh, you're, you're not qualified to become a billionaire because you don't have a college degree or a high school diploma. This is evidence that it's true. If you don't believe me, go. I'm not making this up. This is Forbes.com. As you can see, you can go on. I, I just Googled um, Forbes 400 and I just clicked on something on Google and it took me to the mo all the wealthy people in America. So you can go and look for yourself. Um, thanks for watching my video. I hope you did get some value from this. Uh, if you're wanting to start, to, if, you, if you're curious to know how you can start your run to riches to, to, to be able to um, generate income I can tell you this route take going to a network marketing company direct sales is probably the, the the least expensive way to get there you know what I mean you can actually invest in most companies from anywhere from twenty five dollars all the way up to about five to twenty thousand dollars to get to become successful um, I mean it allows you to work from home it, it allows you to be able to spend as much time with your family work your own hours your own set schedule this guy Rich DeVos he owns a private island uh, they the company owns a private island out here in the, in the Virgin Islands where I'm at I used to work on that island as a, when, I, when I was a kid I used to do some summer stuff over there they own the Orlando Magic basketball team they own a yachting company they own I mean numerous different companies they, they own so just keep in mind that whatever it is you want you can do it if you're in the fashion you can become a billionaire doing it you just have to have a big enough vision a big enough dream a big enough why and you just have to have a reason to get there let's get some water um so yeah uh there's a link below this video that you can click to get some more information on how you can actually uh, create your own rags to riches self-made story even if you have a, a bachelor's of arts or an MBA or a doctorate or if you're a doctor or lawyer and you're watching this and you're like man I'm only you know I'm working my eyeballs out working a hundred dollars a week I'm not getting paid what I'm worth well hey you know here's a way you can actually take a little bit of your time a little bit goes a long way you know what I mean most of you guys if you know 
what I know, uh, a focus beam of light or a drip of water falling on, on a spot over time will create a hole that you can't even imagine the thing how it got there. And it's the exact same thing. You just plug in a little bit a day. You take a little bit of information every single day and you can actually create a mass amount of wealth doing that. Affluence do, does begin with your thought process. So um, this is King Leonidas. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, do come over to Facebook, like it, you know, share it. Uh, uh, send me a friend request on Facebook. You know, there's a link below. Like I said, you can kind of click on there and get some more information. Uh, once you click on that link, fill in the email, uh, enter that that box, and I'll I'll be sending you emails every day that are value based on my own personal results, other people's results that are in the online space. Uh, just information like you're seeing right now. I do blog just about every day, so you'll probably probably be getting next level information from me because this I study a lot of this stuff. I do love to to, to um. To educate people about it because education is the key and I can tell you just like most of these guys on here you know the secret to wealth is not a college degree it's education the right type of education so with that said I will see you guys on my next video I hope you got some value from it this is King Lee and I just wishing you nothing but love peace and prosperity I will catch you in my next video peace